Hello everyone, it's Aaron. Welcome to another episode of Feed the Beast. As you can see, I started making some biomass. Um, I figured I'd move the stuff out here um, just because I needed to make some. I'm not going to make the the engine array or whatever it's called yet. Um, I want to do something fun today. I think I deserve it. Firstly, um, I've been letting this thing run with the quarry, and I've got a fair amount of UU matter. It's not nearly enough to make um, iridium, I believe, but um, I believe all of the recipes for this on the Tekkit wiki still work, um, and you can make quite a bit of stuff with it. Um, uh, a 3x3 three three in a crafting table equals a diamond, so... I've got, I don't know, eight or nine diamonds in this. That's not why I made it, but you can do it with that. You can make clay, ink sacks, uh, looks like ice, bones. Um, you can actually make grass. I think that is, you just put it on the left side of the left side of the grid. And they're not shapeless, so I mean, you have to actually put them, put them where they go. I'll show you what I mean by that. You know what shapeless is, but if I've got two and I put them right here, well, that's water. If I put them right here, that's a grass block. So you can't just take your two and put them anywhere because the recipes are different. Um, depending on where they are in the, in the crafting grid. So I don't really want to make any of that, but what I want to do today... I was debating whether or not to just, um, to just do it. And then, you know, start the video. But um, I did make the long fall boots. I don't think I addressed that last time. But what I want to do today, I need to switch tabs because I've got the recipes up over there. I'm going to need, I have a ton of obsidian. I'm going to need some of that. We'll take a little bit of redstone. And let's take some iron as well. And this is so cool. Well, I think I think it is. <laughs> I've never made one, so we'll see. That's right. It's a it's one of the sentry turrets from Portal. So I actually want to make um, at least uh, th four of these total. And obviously, this is the recipe. Um, I guess I could. I didn't. I guess I didn't bring enough. Uh, enough iron. Let me grab the rest of the stack. Uh, there's something else I wanted to make. Um, I don't think I have any glass on me. And let's make two of these. It takes iron as well. Um, let me make my one closed items pipe. Not sure what that is. I'm going to have to look into that. All right, turrets are stackable. That's good. Uh, the other thing I wanted to make, I need to make two of them. And I haven't, I haven't messed around with this at all, so this is going to be fun for everyone. The aerial faith plate, which are not stackable. Um, there's the other thing, the uh, material emancipation grid. I'm pretty sure that's the the beam that you walk through that takes everything out of your inventory. Whoa. Yes, that was awesome. Okay, let me put this one here. Oh, uh, it went the went the wrong way. Whoa. Okay, well you can right click and interface this thing. Um Maybe I should face the other way when I place it. Yes. <laughs> it's like playing Portal, but but not. All right. Okay, I'm done with that. Um, I was thinking the other day, and I'm not the man for this job, but it would be really awesome if somebody made an adventure map for Feed the Beast. And actually, it occurred to me in Tekkit, but um, 
Feed the Beast has the portal mod, so, you know, you can um, make these things. You've got your different miscraft things you can make. Um, you can make a really kick-ass adventure map with all the mods installed here. Alright, and these sentry guns, I think they shoot everything, so... Yes, they do. <laughs> they even talk. That's awesome. And if you knock them over, they, um... Oh, that's so cool. So here's what I want to do. I want to set up, um, four of these things around the spider spawner. And I don't know if I can do that in such a way that I don't get shot. Maybe I can. We'll see. But I basically want to set them up and then, um, and then wait and uh, let the thing spawn. I probably should have taken, taken the torches off first. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, these things are so awesome. So awesome. I love this so much. Um I really had no idea what portal was and when I bought uh I think it came with the orange box, you know, um I really had no idea what it was and I played it and it was like one of the best games ever. And then, you know, Portal 2 came out, and that's obviously, you know, just as awesome. I uh, had a really good time with that, and the, um, the co-op was so fun. Alright, so, um, how about, how about this? I'll try it this way. We'll put one here. Would you come over Hello. here? <laughs> Oh, that wasn't enough. That's okay. I forget how many blocks these, um, the sensors cover. Nap time. Yes, nap time, that's right. Um, I think it goes, I don't know, 40 blocks or something. I really just want to, um, Kill all the spiders. Oh, damn it. I'm going to die. Watch. Okay, maybe I can um, zip down here and um, get rid of the uh, dirt blocks. And then we can, we, we can wait for night and... Uh, It'll be all good. And hopefully putting them across from each other doesn't make them shoot each other. Like in the game. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, now. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I died. That's great. Um, If you notice, it said offline. Uh, I'm playing in offline mode right now. And something that I noticed was with the um, the teleport pipes, since they are owned and you can set them to private or public, it actually, if you set them up with your, um, when you're logged in and then you play in offline mode, they'll give an error message and you have to actually destroy them and recreate them or like replace them all right so we got our our dude set up over there i'll tell you what let's um let's just um let's watch and see what happens kind of curious cuz i like i said i haven't tried this before the first time I ever crafted these things was just right now. And hopefully I didn't do something stupid and put it in peaceful. No, nah, we're good.
Any minute now, spiders, let's go. Oh, maybe I'm not within 25 blocks of that. That did not occur to me. There it goes. <laughs> oh, that was great. This is awesome. And they're shooting me. I don't want you guys to shoot me. There we go. It's fired up like they're going to spawn. Damn it. Well, this is a good idea, but I don't know that in practice it's really doing a lot for me. In theory, it was a great idea. My plan was to like put up like um put the turrets in a thing and put some glass around it so we could see what's happening. Maybe without dying or getting shot. There we go. Look at that. I think my torches are down there somewhere. Come on. I just want the spiders to come back before I die again. I don't think it's going to happen. Probably get shot by the skeleton. In the meantime, how about this? So I figured that, that, that if I were close enough, just then the spiders would spawn, but there we go. There's another one. <laughs> So awesome. I got to say that this is one of the um <laughs> this is one of the the funnest mods. If funnest is a word, this is it, the portal mod. I knew you could make a portal. I did not know that you could make all the turrets and everything until um yesterday I was looking up to see what the difference between like the regular portal gun and um I made the one with the ham on it or whatever or bacon or whatever it is and the difference is well I really don't know the difference but I went to the thing and I was looking up all the other things and I found out all the other recipes I want to see if I can do that thing that you do to them in the game yes <laughs> oh that's great it's uh it's kind of hard to aim with the thing though. Damn it. Those things are going to be a nuisance. It is hard to aim this, obviously. It's not as easy as it is, you know, in the real game because you know, different physics and stuff. Also, if you hit R it resets your portals, and now I'm probably going to get mobbed by spiders, but that's all right. What's up? Hello. Get him, portal gun. Searching. That was awesome. I don't blame you. All right. Enough of that. I just wanted to make some portal guns and see what happened. Um, something that I want to do, let's try this. Um, oh, he won't walk on it? That sucks. I want. Oh, <laughs> he did. <laughs> I don't know where he went, but that was pretty good. I'm going to have to make something that, um, kind of like a mob grinder, if you will. Oh, I love it. That was so great. 
um, like a mob grinder and, uh, you know, direct the mobs a certain way with a, um, with a water stream or something like that. And then, um, have them hit one of these things and just get launched. If you could determine how much fall damage they take after going off one of those things, you could use this in a, um, some sort of a design for um, an XP grinder. I think that would be pretty funny. Or one of those, um, you know, Rube Goldberg machines or whatever those things are called. Etho was talking about making one a really long time ago. I don't know if he ever did it, but... Alright, um, I think we may have time for one more thing. We can also make a companion cube. And let me eat something. And we'll, I want to make one of those. Um, basically, you have to make a weighted storage cube. Which is smooth stone and iron. And then you have to click it with a rose. And I'm going to make a couple of these things. Which way did it go that way? Okay, and then I think I have a couple of red... Yep. Take two roses. Well, one rose. You only really need one per block. Those aren't stackable. You put it in the world. You right-click it with a rose. You see the hearts. Bam! Companion cubes. I don't know how it's possible to have more than one, but... um. Anyway, as you can see, like I can push it along. If I have my portal gun... I can carry it around with G, just like, you know, normal. Or if you, you can't just hold, you can't just hold your right, or your left mouse button, like if you're chopping down a tree, you have to click it like three or four, you know, times. So, all right, we've got a couple weighted companion cubes, some aerial faith plates, all the fun portal stuff in Minecraft. I love it. It's awesome. And I'm glad that I could share that with all of you because oh, come on. Whatever. They're not going to get me. So, um that's pretty fun. Um if you're playing some SMP, maybe you want to play a little trick on someone, put a turret in their house. I mean, it might kill them, but, you know, it's all in good fun. It's not going to destroy any of their items or anything like that. So, I mean, that's not that big of a deal. So, I think that's going to do it for now. I really don't have any plans um, for the next episode yet. Um, there was something I needed to get into, but I don't remember what. So, maybe I'll think of it. Um, by the way, this isn't the only things you can... Or, this isn't the only things. These aren't the only things you can make from the portal mod. Um, you can make those, like, little lasers and um, stuff from the second one. And there are a bunch more a bunch more um, things in the recipe book for that. So, um, you know, if you have some spare time, give it a go. You can make defective turrets. Let's make one of those right now just because. I think that might be... Um, it just says if you smelt it, and then you have a defective turret. Now it's broken turrets, time to shine. <laughs> All right, stand back, everybody. Uh, I think that's even better than the regular turret. I'm going to have to... I'm going to leave that guy somewhere because that's... <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> maybe I'll uh maybe I'll just leave him over here um so he can uh so he can make damn it. I was trying not to do that. That's the tough thing about putting him right there. I wanna put him right there so he can make me laugh on the crafting and stuff. Until it gets annoying.
<laughs> oh, that's great. Hopefully it wasn't too loud when I left. Anyway, that'll do it for this episode. I wanted to do something fun, and I think I succeeded. So, um, as always, if you have any uh, questions, comments, if you want to see anything in a video, tutorials, etc., let me know. I'll do what I can. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.